Hello and welcome back to Digital Dragon Cooks. Today I got you I got another Hello Fresh. Uh, this one has smoky spice chicken, which that actually looks really good. So what I'm doing going to be doing is I'm gonna follow the recipe, change a couple things, basically add a couple of ingredients that I personally would enjoy. And I recommend that any that you definitely check to see what you would what you like. So first thing they want us to do in here is make the kale salad. Well, it's kale and, with apple kale and almond salad. So first thing they want you to do is peel and cut the carrot and apple. having all the scraps go into a bowl right now. That way I can just throw it out all in one go. It specifies Granny Smith apples. I guess for the acidity and the sourness to counteract the richness of the of the salad, which makes sense. All right. You want to core and slice the apple, which makes sense. Let's turn these into matchsticks. One thing a lot of people don't know is once you cut your apple, toss it with just a little bit of lemon juice. That'll stop it from browning. You don't want a brown apple in your salad. And you don't want too much lemon juice, just enough to coat everything. All the apples. And it gives it a little bit more acidity to the salad. So first of all, carrot off the ends. You're not going to be eating those. Four of these. So these are going to be separate. Well, I want you to half them, but they're huge. So I figured quarter's fine.
Kälte wird dann so kurz. Add the kale to the cup, to the apples. We need a bigger bowl. I underestimated how much kale is in there. So if you get this. Make sure you don't underestimate the kale. Um. Okay, so another bowl. A lot of bowls with these. Uh, whisk together vinegar, Dijon mustard, and oil. Now, again, same with the last to what hello fresh that I used that has Dijon mustard. I'm gonna add a little bit of my uh, sweet and spicy mustard. Not a lot, just a little bit. That's set. That's not a lot of salad dressing at all. I like quite a bit of salad dressing in mine. So I'm going to make a little bit extra. Using a little bit more of all the ingredients, but how all the ingredients? Yes, even even Dijon mustard. And oil again. Of course, this is completely up to you how you make this. They just give you the base ingredients. If you have a lot of the other supplementary, supplementary ingredients like I do, and you like more salad dressing on your salad, like I do, then you can definitely do what I did and make a little bit more. until it's all coated and then of course to taste to add salt and pepper now things like salt pepper oil milk if any of those are needed in this it does not come with it so you do need to fly those stuff but Everything else, like white wine vinegar, that not a, that I only have because I was using it in one of my previous recipes. And of 
course. Always taste. Mmm, perfect. So set that aside. Another baking sheet. Says Pat chicken dry with paper towel, season with salt and pepper, then sprinkle with smoked bath, paprika, and garlic friend. blend. Uh, So this is in the oven, 350 because I don't go anything any higher than 350. Some people do, I don't. Alright. So it does come with the meat, it always does. You don't have to worry about picking up meat for a HelloFresh. With these, if you ever go get them, you might, you wanna look at the ingredient list, see what exactly it needs in the recipe. That doesn't come with it. Because like I said, it doesn't come with everything. Alright, so now that the chicken's packed dry. And you do want to wear gloves when you're dealing with raw chicken because of salmonella. So season that with salt and pepper. Both sides. Best to um, go with freshly ground ingredients, just from personal experience. I put this in a shaker so that it's a lot easier for me to handle. Put as much or as little spice as you want. It's up to you. It's your. It's your uh, to your taste. Bake this at 350 for about an hour. Flipping halfway, of course. Alright, so in a separate pan, heat up oil, add the carrot.
Tell me what you want to do. And that. About a half cup of water. Let that cook with the water reduce and the carrots to cook until they're nice and al dente. Alright, and here's my little take on the uh, spice chicken with carrots and kale and almond salad with apple kale and almond salad all right and yeah thank you for liking commenting and subscribing and of course hit the notification bell so that you can get updated on all future videos and thank you and good night